This is the Geekom Mini IT12, mini computer, and it is absolutely insane. It is crazy how much power this little guy right here packs. It features a 10 core Intel i7 CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. Just a few years ago, a setup like this was considered a top of the line tower gaming PC a big boy on your desk. Well, aside from the graphics card, of course, but other than that, these specs were considered super high end. And now just a few years later, I can fit this on the palm of my hand. It is crazy, <laughs> mind-blowingly incredible. And I absolutely love Geekom for pushing the frontier of these mini computers. So if you're looking for a super compact and portable, and most of all, powerful mini computer, then this is it. And here we have the newest tech and the IT12 can drive up to four monitors simultaneously without any issues. Windows 11 straight out of the box and it is also very power efficient. Of course, we got you covered with exclusive discount codes. You can find all of that in the description. Yeah, now let's check it out in detail. Got the new drip from Geekom, the mini IT12 mini computer with the i7 12650H configuration. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box. It's quite heavy, feels valuable. First of all, let me remove the protective wrap. And just like that, we can see this absolutely beautiful box, shiny letters on the front, looking stunning. I hope you can see it. The box also has those shiny details, black gloss on black matte surface on both sides. Then we also have this as well as the other side right here, this on the bottom. And the whole thing can just slide off the top just like that. And there we have it. Wow, it is smaller than expected. That is crazy. Look at that. It literally fits on the palm of my hand. This is so tiny. Wow. Let's immediately get rid of this wrap as well. Beautiful. One more up here. And let's remove this foam divider. And we have the thank you letter and another divider in here. And here we have all the cables and accessories for it. So let's remove all of that power brick and mounting bracket. So let's get straight to it. Let's start with the thank you letter. This on the back and this will just unfold and we can pull it out. So we have this and this on the back. Nice touch. Moving on to the manual right here. This will unfold. So we have the layout, IO, hardware instructions right there for the RAM, right here for the SSDs or HDDs, how to mount it with the bracket, how to power it and safety notes right there. And on the back we have these safety notes in several languages. So great manual. Let's fold it up again. Let's put it here. And right here we have the VESA mount, the metal bracket right there with the back and the up indication right here for the bottom of the machine. Here we have screws. We also get an HDMI cable and the cable to power the brick for the wall outlet, for the wall socket. And lastly, we have the power brick plug right here. And here we have all the specs and details of the brick and of course the connector on this side. So to recap, aside from the computer, we will get the cable for the brick, the brick itself, the mounting hardware and the paperwork. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. And here we have the computer. As I said, it is really, really tiny. It has a bit of weight to it and it has this shiny bluish look to it. It's hard to define the color, but it's looking rather nice. Great cooling. Of course, here you can see the cooling grid in here. Nice rubber feet. And yeah, it's just a super compact unit. Can't wait to test it. So let's take a close look. So once again, we have the top right here with the brand, nice rounded edges all the way around. As you can see, it's a great looking design to say the least. We have this side with the SD slot and all sides have this grid to them. Next, we have this side, massive cooler in here. And here we have all the IO ports, two times HDMI up to four screens simultaneously with the USB-C ports. Crazy, crazy. On this side, you can also lock it in place if you want to do so and more IOs on the front with the on off button right here and also an aux jack. 
well, for your headphones actually. And on the bottom we have four nice rubber feet and on this sticker we have all the details with specs and features. Not bad, right? So let's finally test it. So here we go and this will be the setup for the test. So this is the main monitor, a 56 inch 4K TV. And we also have a second monitor right here that we can use for testing as well. Look how tiny it is. We could easily mount it back here, somewhere back here, no problem. But since I don't want a permanent setup, but a modular and portable one, I will just put it right here. This platform is perfect for just that. I will use the HDMI cable to connect the main monitor and then of course hook it up to the power. And there we go, it's super simple. For this demo, I connected all my outboard gear, the cable bound gear, but I also inserted the receiver of this white mouse, it's right there. A completely wireless setup for this PC would of course make more sense, but again, just for the demo. So let's turn on the monitor, HDMI one, and now let's turn on the PC. There we go. Here we can hear the fan at full blast and there we go. Sorry for the glare, <laughs> this monitor is like a mirror. All right, so Windows 11 straight out of the box. And as you can see, we can either use the wireless mouse or the cable bound mouse. And I also have this one and this one, this gamepad, as well as the stream deck hooked up over this USB hub. So it can handle those easily as well. And with a dead set, let's blast through this setup located in Austria. German layout, please. Skip that. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. Let's do all the updates next. Restart done. Final steps. M I T 12. Perfect name. Lastly, let's log into the Microsoft account. I chose the setup as a new PC. Next up is to create a pin. No, no. Okay. No, no. No. Skip that. Skip. No. Almost there. Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. All right, here we go. Windows 11 straight out of the box. Love it. So first of all, let's connect the keyboard, of course. And as you can see, I already disconnected the wired outboard gear. Let's go fully wireless. So let's go Bluetooth. Let's go for number three right there. Let's add a new device. The keys. 831. This Bluetooth is super fast and super snappy. Amazing. Now we can finally close this, close all of that. Okay, let's finish the software download and set up for the mouse. Yeah, now I can type, use the keyboard. Let's get a proper background. Perfect. Taskbar settings, clean up the desktop. Sweet. Now that's perfect. Sadly, my usual color scheme wasn't picked up. So let's add that. Okay, that's better. Oh yes, sir. Okay, and now let's also add a second screen. It's super convenient because on the back we have two HDMI ports right there. Extremely convenient. And just like that, we are ready to rock with a second screen. Now I can grab it, move it down here, up there. It's so nice. It is super snappy and fast. So our main display is a 4K TV and it's looking perfect. But when we put it down here, we also need a larger scale. Let's go for 200, ah, that's better. So we can leave this there. So I'm currently downloading Chrome, a must have. And then let's check out a few 4K YouTube videos. By the way, check it out. Everything about the system, 32 gigs of memory, insane. Love this dual screen setup. So here we go, YouTube. It is beautiful, it's fast, it's snappy, it is perfect. So let's see, let's check out this video right there. 4K, full screen. 4K video, let's go. That was incredible because these leaves were no so problem. Cool. Let's mute see. the sound. So video is being played back. CPU, no problem whatsoever. Even the integrated CPU is not even close to being maxed out. And from this test, I would say that the Mini IT12 can easily handle dual 4K playback without any issues. And that means it is powerful enough for all the office tasks. It is just such a powerful machine, especially when you consider this extremely tiny form factor. It is amazing. And when you're done, you can just turn it off and take it with you wherever you want. Massive, massive thumbs up from my side. This thing is 
awesome. And when you want to take a break from those office tasks, kick back, relax a bit, play some games, no problem as well. The Geekom Mini T12 is easily powerful enough to play all sorts of retro games. These are all browser-based. Usually this will take more resources than a game that is installed on your system. But as you can see, the GPU as well as the CPU is barely struggling with the workload. And it is even powerful enough to play a few rounds of Fortnite. Check it out. Now we can finally see the GPU working as well as the CPU, but even though it has a low base rate, it can easily boost up well over 3 GHz. And that's why even Fortnite runs smooth on this system. It is so nice to see, but yeah, I'm not that great of a player. But what is great is, of course, this powerful little system. So as you saw, this little box is insanely powerful. It can handle 4K screens and 4K video playback with ease. And this was not the case with my first mini computer. So that was great to see too, say the least, a completely lagless experience. It is more than perfect for office tasks and it can easily fit on the backside of any monitor or screen or TV if you want to go for a invisible PC setup. Thanks to the newest Bluetooth 5.0, you can also go fully wireless with a massive multitude of input devices and still always have a stable connection. And this of course also adds to the no PC look and minimalistic wire-free setup if you want to go that route. It is just perfect for that and it is also really silent. Other than that, with this you are fully mobile. So if you have highly sensitive data on your computer. Well, then just bring it with you. That is the ultimate protection. 100% hacker and thief proof. And when I keep thinking about the possibilities with this thing, endless ideas pop up in my head. APC for your car, for your bike, well maybe not, but you can hook it up to your Beamer. Hide a home server, a powerful, extremely powerful home server anywhere. It is just so cool. <laughs> Tons of possibilities. And as I said, it also features the newest tech like Wi-Fi 6, USB 4.0 and 2 times HDMI 2.0 up to four monitors at the same time, 2.5 GBE LAN, high bandwidth, low latency, Windows 11 straight out of the box, but it can also easily handle Linux, Android, Fide OS, just to name a few, no problem. A 12th gen Intel Core, i7 12650H CPU with 10 cores. Incredible. And also Intel Iris Xe 96 EUS GPU you know, graphics, onboard graphics, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, clocked at 3200 megahertz, and you can even extend it up to 64 gigs of RAM. Standard PCIe 4.0, NVMe SSD slots, 512 gigs, up to a max of two terabytes, and also a SATA interface that supports SSDs or HDDs, 2.5 inches when it gets to the size, also up to two terabytes and much, much more. So if you like what you heard and saw, then don't forget to check out our exclusive discount codes in the description. The IT12 Mini is incredible. To say the least, I can highly recommend it. And all in all, I would say without any doubt that this little guy is definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.